welcome back to another video let's go ahead and get started i have these little nail tips in my practice hand and we're going to be doing some duck tip nails yes duck tip i didn't think i was going to do duck tip ever but here we are i'm using these coffin tips and i'm going to cut them in half it's going to depend on how long you want the nail but the the longer the nail is going to be the wider the nail tip it's going to be so i'm using a size three nail for the middle finger and the pointer the next finger and a size eight I'm going to for adhere the these nail tips with acetone i love doing this method i don't want glue anywhere near my practice hand so i'm just going to glue all of the nail tips on and we're gonna have our duck shaped nails now i'm going to use my fine bit and just blend in a little bit the nail tip into the other nail tip you'll blend in the nail tip to the natural finger however you're going to do it and of course just being as careful as i can so that way i don't mess up my practice hand So now we're going to move on to the application. I'm using Valentino Dragon Fruit Acrylic and my Young Nails Monomer and size 12 acrylic brush. Now I'm going to do the application separately on each finger. Mostly because with this duck shaped nail, this is my first time doing it. So I wasn't sure how it was going to be. I wasn't sure if I was going to find it easier to do it in a one bead method or three bead method so i was just kind of going with the flow and kind of experimenting i didn't do the pinky on camera because i wanted to test out the temperature of the room and the way i was going to do these nails especially because you want them to flow a little bit more because of the exaggerated tip you don't want to miss the sides you want to make sure the sides are covered so you have more area to cover width wise so you kind of want it to flow a little bit more and it was perfect because it's nice and cool it was nice and cool in the room so it was easy to work with it in a flowy kind of way but of course when it's a little bit more flowy and transparent you're going to see more through it so you want to build it up
so we have a nice and smooth application i'm really trying to work the smoothest that i can because usually of course when i am working on a practice hand i don't file the top of the nail i will clean up the around the nail clean up the sides but i just do not like to file the nail <laughs> it's mostly because i don't want to take the time to do it but the cleaner i work i don't feel like i need to as much so it kind of works out so with this middle nail middle finger i'm going to do a slightly bigger bead and you can see if it's a little bit more moldable it's just going to flow easier to where you want it to go now i love these duck tip nails now and at first i didn't like them i would say that i appreciated them but i just didn't think that i would want them for myself especially i think they used to be a lot more exaggerated than this they were way more exaggerated so it kind of made me not like them as much but if you tone them down a little bit i think they have a lot of potential they have a lot of potential especially if you do kind of uh, shorter nails rather than some long ones it just kind of gives it a, a, a little bit more room a cuter look to it especially if you do them really natural looking it just it's really cute i don't know i don't know how to explain the fact that my feelings change towards this, this nail shape because a lot of people don't like them a lot of people like i'll see comments and they're just like those are ugly they're terrible and i'm like they're not that bad to the point where i'm like ew you know what i mean anyway so i'm just going to continue to shape them and clean up around it and just really maintain the shape because it's going to be a little bit more difficult to file them but i did not file the sides i just am going to clean up and make sure that they're clean underneath the nail but other than that we're just going to do this application Right, and this is the finished application they look like square nails that just spilled over around just a little bit they're not too exaggerated which i think makes them so wearable and what attracted me to them is that they look just a little bit more square than usual i'm gonna use my sanding band and i'm just going to clean up underneath the nail to make sure that there's no acrylic under there especially for working more with the wetter acrylic bead you might get some under the nail so make sure you're cleaning that up and that is pretty much it make sure you watch the next video where i do the design <laughs> 